What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I've got probably the most unorganized desktop in a video you've seen on this channel. That's simply because I was in the middle of a project and I managed to accidentally clear my path. What does that mean? Well, anything that I have installed like NVIDIA CUDA, third-party processes and scripts, etc. that all rely on your path variable, which is basically telling your PC, when I type in a command, look in these folders here for that command. If it exists, open it up and run it. It's a very important part of your PC. And if you happen to clear it for some reason, which is actually scarily easily, you could be in a bit of a difficult place. For example, if I open up a PowerShell window here, that if I run this command here to get my environment variables for path, you'll see a response like this. This is my user environment. These are still okay. These are all different folders on my PC. Now, if I run the command to get the machine or path for all users, you'll see it's empty. Nothing is returned. This is what I've lost. You'll find these two commands in the description down below as we'll be using them shortly. In order to get back your path, make sure you don't close anything on your PC and most importantly, you don't restart. We need to rely on processes that were running before we made this mess up in order to get our path back. Now, the simplest way to get this back is assuming that you have a command prompt open from before this mistake happened. You can run echo percentage path percentage and hit enter. You'll then see a combined list of your machine path variables followed by your user path variables. As I've already deleted the machine path variables, none of them are here. Otherwise, if this command prompt was open from before my mistake, you would see all of the machine path variables followed by the user path variables all in one long string. Opening PowerShell and running these two separate commands, you'll be able to tell what came from what, assuming one of them is now empty, like mine from machine. I would take this list from command prompt before the mistake and basically remove all of the bits of the string from whichever one is still here. What I'm left with will be what I'm currently missing. But as machine is already cleared for me, it's just user left. This is just the user path and it's not helpful to us. You may think you're stuck at this point, but you're actually not. Assuming you haven't restarted, what we can do is download Process Explorer. This is a tool from Microsoft Sys Internals. We'll download it here. You'll find a link in the description down below. Open the zip and extract procexp.exe to your desktop. Then we'll be opening it up as admin. You might not need admin for this, but I'm doing it anyways. What we'll do now is find a process that was running before our mistake happened. I'll pick, say, this Adobe notification thing that boots up with my PC. Right click, properties. Then inside of this new window, we'll head to environment, which should be on the top row here. Then we'll look for path. So scrolling, there's path. Simply hit control C to copy this, start R, or however you want to open up notepad and paste it in here. Now, once again, we have a combined string of both the machine paths and user paths. Paths. Because this process was running before my mistake, you'll see that this is noticeably longer than my user path, simply because it's my machine path up here, then the user path variables. All we need to do once again is run these two commands and use our eyes to tell exactly what came from before and what came from after. We can also hit Control F to search and we should be able to tell where it starts. So here we go, it starts with Python 3.10. Here we go, Python 3.10 scripts. Awesome. So I'll delete everything after this point, and now everything before this point, taking out path at the very start, was my original machine path. We've now restored it, or at least we've got it back. Save this somewhere in case your PC crashes. Hit start and type in environment. We'll be opening edit environment variables for your account or edit the system environment variables. Then environment variables inside of here under either user variables, if that's what you're missing, path over here, you can edit new and paste it in. Otherwise, you can click new if path is missing entirely, path and paste it in here. For me, it's the system variable or machine variable path that was cleared. Scrolling down, you can see path text, but there is no path. It was completely removed. So new path, paste it in here. Okay, now we've successfully restored it. Assuming we reopen PowerShell, you can already see that the machine path is now populated once more and we've got back everything that we cleared before our minor mistake. In the future, try to be a bit more careful, but of course mistakes happen and this is how to get back, assuming you lost it. Now this trick works for practically any environment variable. All of these here and whatever you may have set up a custom on your PC should be listed for all programs that are running before your mistake. Should you like to check, you can use the same command that you'll find down below, except swap out path for whatever else it is say CUDA or whatever install directory. Let's see, we'll go with OneDrive. So OneDrive machine, there's nothing but user. 
we have the path here. Very simple. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Hopefully it pulls you out of a sticky situation as it did me. Mine has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.